Hey, welcome to Flight Test, I'm Josh. And as you can see, I'm not in the office. Uh, we were given an amazing opportunity to uh, go see a pre-release product in Orlando, Florida at the AUVSI 2014. Now that is an expo all dedicated around unmanned aerial vehicles, but actually it goes into robots, it goes into submarines, anything that flies or is autonomously controlled and also has uh, surveillance abilities, it was all there. It was amazing technology, a lot of great people. And those people that brought us there was Parrot Corp. This is because of you guys, and I want to sincerely thank you. Uh, back when we first started Flight Test, uh, we reviewed the Parrot 1, and then later on, about two years later, the Parrot 2, and it had a lot of really great features. Well, this is actually a really unique opportunity they gave us because of the popularity brought to those two videos. During this event, they announced the release of their Parrot Drone 3.0 uh, called the Bebop. Now, the Bebop has a lot of amazing features, but during this time, we also got to meet a lot of the great folks at the Parrot Company. Uh, one thing that immediately struck us that was amazing was the people. Uh, the people and the way the company is structured is amazing. The parent company is predominantly based in Paris, France. Over half of its company is made up of engineers. Now, this was a very special, unique opportunity to actually see something before it was actually released to the general public and to be part of the announcing it and also give some feedback. Until early in the morning, they bus us to a golf course and we were met by the CEO of Parrot Corp named Henry Sadu. Phenomenal guy, truly passionate about technology and also inspiring imagination. That was the very first thing he communicated to us was how passionate he felt that a child's imagination is one of the most beneficial things to bring great technology into reality. That imagination is what spurs on the development of key uh, gadgets, as he called it, that, that create great things like his new product, the Bebop drone. He also demonstrated the product himself, which was truly inspirational. He took off the uh, Bebop drone right inside the facility and demonstrated all of its key features while giving a speech, which was absolutely amazing. He gave us an up close, a personal look as the thing was flying, demonstrating all of its features. But it didn't end there. All the amazing engineers that brought this into reality, he flew them from France to Orlando, Florida. We were met at the golf course by the engineers themselves. They took us out into the golf course at different stations and demonstrated their different technology. Uh, well, the things that amazed me right off the bat was the uh, things they addressed, like the interchangeable props, the amazing camera system that actually did not have a mechanical gimbal, but actually would give you the ability to look left, right, up, and down, and still maintain stability. It was quite windy, and we were getting remarkably smooth video. I didn't think for a second they were going to actually let us take the controls of these pre-market devices, but they did. They passed the controls around, and they actually let us crash them pretty vigorously, and uh, we all got a good chuckle, but they're remarkably durable. The magnesium frames, the energy they put into this, I can't wait for the final version to come out to see what they end up with the technology. Now one of my key concerns is back with Parrot 1 and Parrot 2, it was all controlled through an iPad. But for pilots that were used to flying by a, a transmitter, it was very cumbersome and very awkward. Well, they did two things. They addressed that issue by giving a thing called the Sky Controller uh, a feel of an actual control stick. So you had your gimbals back, but on top of that, it docked with either an iPhone or an iPad which still gave you the ability to have the first person experience and also a more powerful antenna to give you farther range, up to two kilometers. After that, they allowed us to try an integrated technology called the Oculus Rift, and that's a separate project from a separate company, but they're already working to integrate that. That was one of the most amazing immersive experiences because when you put that on and you moved your head left and right and up and down, it actually took the camera technology and showed left, right, up and down without any mechanics at all. It also took all the distortion of fisheye away as well too. During this time of trying out the Bebop drone, we also got to give the transmitter to Dave Knopf, and I got to take hold of the camera, so if you're seeing this part and it's out of focus, it's because of me. But Dave Knopf has never touched FPV or, uh, or multi-rotors or any of this technology before in his life. He flew it much better to me, and their main goal was to bring this technology into beginning the hobbyists and also the toy manufacturers to help the usher them into the actual the mainstream hobby. Uh, all the controls are right at the fingertips, and the Sky Controller is absolutely amazing. Now this is the first time we've ever gotten to experience a product in pre-release and, and also in its infant stages. You guys can definitely count on a full-blown episode and the folks at Parrot have committed to getting us this product as soon as it's released out in the market so we can review it and uh, experience it in its final form. There's so many more features they want to put in it between now and later on this year when it's revealed. So look forward to that episode coming up soon. I want to sincerely take this time to thank the wonderful people at Paracorp for this amazing opportunity to see a product in pre-release. It was truly an honor to, uh, to experience it, to try it out, to give feedback, and also to meet the great people that made up the company. And uh, to the wonderful viewers too, you guys made this possible. You guys were the reasons why Paracorp called us to come out and reveal this new technology. They only had 13 other people talking about this product and showing this product to you the first time. You guys made it possible for Flight Test to be one of those people. And uh, we're truly grateful for all of that. Um, until next time, I gotta get on a plane with Dave. We're gonna head back. We just didn't wanna wait for this uh, opportunity to pass. We wanna get to you as soon as possible. I'm gonna grab my bags and we'll see you next time.